Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to talk about the keywords in your title tags and why they are important for your search engine optimization efforts and strategy. Title tags are one of the most important on-page SEO aspects that you really need to focus on because what happens is when the search engines, um, they scan your website, they look for various pieces of information and the title tag is one of the pieces of information they look for. Typically, if you're creating a website, I'm going to go here on my local installation. I'm going to take a look at this article right here. I'm gonna right click it, view page source, and then I'm gonna jump to the area where it has the title tag. So as you see here on line 13, title, and then I need coffee, and then YouTube, and then closing the title tag. Now with WordPress and with a lot of other CMSs, you don't really need to code this into your blog posts. There's often plugins or the features built in uh, via the themes that you're currently using. So if it's a properly coded theme, then you're going to have this generated. Of course, you could always use a plugin like Yoast SEO, which will enable you to really customize the title tag for better SEO uh, purposes, but you can leave this in the default if you really want to do so. All right, so title tags are important. And when you create a new post or article or web page, you want to make sure that you're using the best practices for your title tags. For the keywords, it's important that you have your primary keyword as the first keyword, if possible, uh, within your title tag. And then you should have a secondary keyword and then follow that up with your brand name itself. So if you go back to the view page source here, you're going to see that the title uh, tag has the I need coffee and then it has a dash and then followed by YouTube because this demonstration site on my local installation is titled YouTube. So it's followed always with the YouTube brand on the back on the back or this would be the name of your website that's important to have and also you want to keep typically keep your titles between 50 to 60 characters so that way the search engine understands what the title tag is and can identify it via all via the content that's also generated on your actual web page or blog post itself Now I'm going to show you how the title tag is displayed in the search engines so I'm going to go here into uh, Google. I'm going to type out how to use social media to market your website or blog. All right, so now we see that by putting in that search parameter in the top, I now get the results. So in the uh, first spot, I get the results of my website here it's an article i wrote about how to use social media to market your website or blog and then i also get a link to a youtube video that i created about the very same uh, topic itself so you see what i did there i created the blog post and a youtube video and they both work in conjunction uh, to promote the website and the YouTube channel and video itself. And I use the same title tags uh, for each. So here you see I have how to use social media to market your website or blog. And then here, how to use social media to market your website or blog. Now on my website, it's followed with Pixumweb because that's the name of my website. And then on the YouTube channel, it's followed with YouTube because it's on the YouTube website. So you see, this is a practice that's used by Google and YouTube itself when they are uh, creating the um, the title tags for the videos uh, that you create and name for your videos in themselves. So I'm going to right click and open this in a new page. So this is going to open up my uh, blog post that I created. I did it recently on August 24th, 2016. And this is just a an article that I wrote about how to use social media to market your website or blog. And you see that it has the title, is the top portion, and it also shows up in the search result. That That's why using good keywords in your title tags and using properly formatted uh, title tags is important for your search engine marketing strategy. You have to keep it something that is simple, memorable, and 
often what a person would be searching for when they visit the search engines. Typically, how-tos are a good way to start off your uh, title tags because a lot of people will typically, you know, type in a how-to in the search engine followed by the particular item they want to research. So title tags are extremely important. Uh, you really have to focus on making sure you have good uh, title tags that are keyword rich and that coincide with the content that you're actually displaying on your website. You never want to have uh, title tags that are not really defining what the content of the site is going to be about because that can actually hurt you in the long run because if a person's intent is to find information based on that search query and if your content differs from the title then they're most likely going to navigate away from your website and from your blog post so that sends a negative signal to google and to youtube and to the other search engines uh, that the user was not satisfied with the results. It's part of your bounce rate, and the faster a person leaves your website, uh, the more negative of a signal it sends. As I mentioned, you want to make sure your keywords are in your title tag, and you want to have your title tags anywhere from 50 to 60 characters long, and you want to make it a phrase that a person is going to uh, potentially use when they search that particular topic, the Google search engine or Bing or any other search engine uh, that they may be using. Uh, so hopefully you found this episode helpful where I demonstrated the benefit of using properly formatted keywords within your title tags and the importance and relevance it has on your search engine optimization strategy. And as you can see, if you do it properly, even articles that are recently written will be displayed uh, towards the top if that phrase is what's being searched for in its entirety. As you can see, I did the YouTube video and the blog post both on the same topic and they both work together. All right, so again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or comments, leave them down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.